Hi, little smoosh. You wanna say hi? Look it. No? You're supposed to be nice on Valentine's Day. Ugh, where are my cats? So I should have put this video together about two weeks ago. It's been almost three weeks, actually almost a month, since I last put out the video where I was heading to Manchester. Yeah, he's going to Manchester! And I didn't really record a whole lot when I was there. Let me explain. I had every good intention to record a, a couple of vlogs when I was in Manchester, but work really got in the way. And that's fine, because the premise of the trip was work-based and business-based. Some of the stuff that we were discussing just it wouldn't have been right to record and share that on this channel. So one of the final days I spent in Manchester, I was actually able to go do some sightseeing and have some time to myself. It was actually one of the best days in England too. It rained the entire time we were there, except for the last day where it was nice and sunny. And those that have been around these videos for a little bit, you've noticed that I am a huge supporter of Manchester United. Now during this visit, they didn't have a match that I could go to. So what we did was the next best thing is find a pub to watch a match on the Friday before we headed back. Early in that day though, it turned out to be a very special day. What we got to do is we got to go to a stadium tour inside Old Trafford. Now I'd been to Old Trafford once before. It was about two years ago, we were on another work trip and we decided to go to a match on a weekend, extend the trip. I was supposed to leave on the Friday, match was on a Saturday. Then I extended my trip to decide, hey, you know, what? if I'm here, might as well go up. So I did visit Old Trafford before. And, and between those two visits, there's one consistent thing. When you first see Old Trafford, you think about all the culture behind that stadium, all the players that have played there when it got blown up in the Second World War and now rebuilt to the giant landmark it is and how much that means to some certain people that are fans of the club and been supporters of the club most of their life. A lot of history there for a club that's existed for about 140 years. And most supporters in their lives that love the club never really get to experience that. So for me to be there twice is pretty special. First time I went, I didn't realize that I was actually gonna be able to go the first time. So the second time was an actual treat when you really get to go inside the stadium, go into the players changing room, get to walk out onto the pitch, through the players tunnel, all those kinds of things. I mean, no matter who you support, I, mean, I got friends that are Liverpool supporters, I got friends that are City supporters. I deal with them, they're tolerable, but still, fuck both your teams. Anybody can relate, though, when you go to your football clubs or your hockey clubs, you know, stadium, you get a certain feeling for a certain time, and I'm sure any European football supporter can relate to that feeling. So we went for a stadium tour, my coworker and I, that we were on the trip with, and I had every intention of recording some great footage to share with you guys and some of the supporters that follow this channel, the Manchester United Supporters Group in Rochester that I help run, got there and I wasn't able to actually record too much. I guess they needed permission from the stadium ahead of time, um, media releases, stuff like that. So I was able to get a little bit of footage, but not as much as I would have liked to share with you guys. It was a really cool experience. You got to go through the museum that's in Old Trafford to see all the trophies that the club has won over the years. You got to go in the dugout, you got to walk out of the players tunnel, you know, sit in the stadium and it's a different feeling when you're sitting in the stadium and it's completely empty. It's actually breathtaking when you're taking that all in. Completely different from a match day, which luckily now I've got to experience both. So again, I'm sorry this update came a little bit later than I was anticipating from the previous video. I'm going to insert some of the footage that I was able to capture into this video to share with you guys. I do have a couple different trips and a couple different videos in the pipeline that I'm working on that I'm gonna share with you guys soon. A couple reviews of some products that I have actually given to me as a gift, not from the company themselves, but from friends or family, from Christmas, or I purchased them myself. Those will be coming to this channel soon. So yeah, that's my brief update here. Again, apologize that this video was so delayed compared to the last one. Trying to get more on a weekly schedule and then hopefully ramp up from there. So here's some of the footage from that trip and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.
that. <laughs>